dude, you're a huge fan favorite in New York and you got a lot of awesome posts on social media. You ready to break down some of your best posts? Let's do it, let's do it, I'm excited. All right, first man, you know how to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is uh, actually in front of my aunt's yard uh, during COVID and I told some of my friends that I was gonna have like a slip and slide in front of the house. So if they wanted to come over, they can. And this is what we got out of it. <laughs> Dude, and, and, and the final pose on this side, baby. <laughs> Just, just making it, you know, real relaxed, real smooth, like like if, like if I was diving into second base. Yes, sir. <laughs> I love it. We're That's off awesome. To That's a good first one. And the second one, baby. Dude, you love to fish, man. You catch some pretty big fish. Yeah, uh, I actually uh, bought a house in the Keys in 2019, and my parents uh, love going to the Keys, and my dad actually owns a boat, so we, go, we do a lot of fishing in the off-season. Uh, nothing crazy, just, you know, kind of like uh, regular fish, family-oriented stuff, and um, that's kind of like my hobby to do, go fishing with my dad. Yeah, it's one of your most popular posts, on, yeah. especially on Instagram, you show them off. I think it's the, the snappers, the mutton snappers or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the barracudas, the mutton snappers, the yellow tails. I mean, you name it, we, we, we like to do it all. Dude, dinner at the Cortez house. Let's go, baby. <laughs> yes, Let's sir. go. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm coming. All right, you love the water so much. Oh, yes. And you're also a dog guy. Yes. Here it is. This is, uh, this is my dog, Tyson, uh, with my girl actually holding him down because we didn't want him to fall in the water. We kind of have to keep an eye out for him because he will he will dive in himself. So we kind of said, hey, let's let's put him on this raft, see what he does. And <laughs> he was acting real cool about it. So it, it, we were we were really happy. And the caption was, you're missing your little guy at that point. So it's kind of yeah. hard being away from him sometimes. Yeah, but when yeah. you do get to be together, you have such special moments like this one. For sure, yeah. I mean, we're here for six months, and he's back home with my parents now. So they're taking care of him. But every time we get a chance with him, he, we we try and be with him. Tyson he even has his own uh, driver's license. He does. He does. <laughs> he does. I got him one. <laughs> there you go. All right, dude, you are Miami through and through, so much to the point where you got the tattoo on the right arm, 305, baby. Yeah, uh, it's something I represented, you know, since uh, I got to high school. I think who who put that in me was Gio Gonzalez. He repped Hialeah very much, um, you know, and he kind of came back to our practice when I was in high school, and it's something that he engraved in me, and, and I like to give back, and I like to show support for my city, so um, it's fun, it's fun to, to to be able to represent and to, and to have a community and a city behind my back. Oh, dude, you do big time. And I love that the caption on that post was, I live where you vacation. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> so awesome. Man. Hylia might not, where you, might not be where you vacation, <laughs> but Miami, Miami is. Uh, I'm only 10 minutes you know, west from, from the beach, so, so I kind of uh, adopted that caption and then obviously put into Hialeah. Now, as much as you love the beach in Florida, you spent some birthdays out in Colorado. Here you are, 26th birthday, baby. Yeah, this was uh, 2020. Uh, I was turning 27. I live in Miami, so it's you know sunny year round. And uh, I told my parents and, and, and my family and my friends that I wanted to go to the, to the snow, to see snow uh, you know, for my birthday. So they kind of you know uh, helped me out with that. And we went to Colorado, and it was a great time. It was my first time actually in Colorado, and no there, was a lot, there was a lot of snow. Dude, no a lot way. Of snow. Did you do any of the uh, the slides like no. uh, on the water slide? No, I snowboarded a little bit, a little bit snow, but right? I, I was not, it was not good. It was not good. It was not good. This vacation looked awesome. This was going around everywhere on Twitter, on Instagram, just everywhere this trip that you and the boys took. Yeah, that's a good picture. It was actually uh, Luis Cesar's uh, uh, wedding. That's right. He invited us over there, so we went to Mexico. We got to check out Mexico. Uh, it was awesome. The wedding was beautiful. Uh, I'm very happy that I got invited, and it was it was such a cool experience because uh, you know with baseball and stuff like that, I, I would I never been part of a wedding. This is actually my first wedding I've, I've been to, so it was pretty fun to go and, and and be with the guys there, and 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 we just had a good time. What a great first wedding to yeah. go to, and I even saw some of your dance move on the IG <laughs> stories, man. You had yeah, it going I saw on, that. Baby. I saw that I went on IG too, but. Yeah, it was fun. We had a great time. We had a great time. Yes, sir. You rocked the cowboy hat really well. And when you go to all these different cities, yep. you guys are right in Chicago. Last year in Chicago with my girl, uh, we went to the Bean. Uh, obviously, it's you know something super famous over there in Chicago, and we wanted to check it out. She wanted to check it out. You know, we also went to the that building where the the glass windows are that you can uh, you can stand over or kind of sit on, and we did that too. So it was fun. We so had a lot of fun. Is this one of your favorite cities that you visited? Because it is different from the Miamis. It's different. Yeah, from the, it is different. Colorado. It, it, it's nice. We we had a good time. I mean, there's you know restaurants, good views. I'd say it's like top five for sure. Cool, sweet. 
right, so. Oh God. I love, go. I love this throwback picture of you right here, man. Rocking the shades with your dad. He even has a cool throwback Florida Marlin Marlins, shirt on. Yes, but sir. dude, you were rocking it since you were a little kid, man. Yeah, I mean, proud dad, you know, he's a proud dad. So uh, I think that was one of his uh, birthday posts that I put up. Uh, just kind of, you know, happy the way he has brought me up and the way he raised me. Uh, you know, I couldn't ask for more, and, and he he has sacrificed so much. So I'm I'm happy I'm happy that I can be like him or try and be like him one day. Dude, so did he have one of these changed when he was a kid too, man? This is <laughs> that's, a big one. Uh, you know, that's that's Miguel Sano's uh, right. chain. <laughs> no, that's not mine. That's like that's like a house. <laughs> Dude, that's uh, a big one. Man. I went to the DR to play winter ball, and he he uh, he was in the team with us, and he, he came in he came he came he came in one day with with a chain. I'm like, oh, I gotta take a picture with this thing. <laughs> Put it on, it weighed like three pounds, and I was like, dude, this is insane. But uh, yeah, it's a nice chain. Next one. So you're rocking everything cool up top, and even on the bottom, you got the cool spikes. Which, dude, you kept on breaking out so many over the last few years. But this one, I know we talked about before. Yeah. Nasty Nestor, baby. Uh, this is actually done by Soul by Sir on yep. Instagram. Uh, he's a. We became really good friends, uh, even though we don't see each other much. Uh, uh, my agent kind of like put me through him, and 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 he's done in, an incredible job with designing these these cleats. Uh, I basically tell him, hey, have fun with them. I don't really know what I want to put in them. Uh, just give me what you got. And this is what he came up with. And I was real happy with them. And obviously social media was real happy with them too. So uh, it, it was a fun shoe and it was it was nice for him to, to, to do that for me. Yeah, man, you guys make a cool one-two punch. And you mentioned Gio Gonzalez before, how inspirational he's been. And right here, so this was even back in high school, yeah. right? When you yeah. started wearing like I was saying, he's like the cleat guy. So I, I was in high school 2010, 2013. And that's when he got his contract with uh, the Nationals. Okay. Um, so, you know, obviously he gets his contract. Uh, he's finally able to give back to the community, uh, give back to the high school. So he's showing up, you know, every day at practice, you know, obviously getting ready for spring, kind of uh, show us, you know, the way it was done and the way he did it. He obviously went to state champions at, back at our high school. Mm -hmm. So he was a big dealer too. And he was able to, you know, uh, give me some cleats and I was, I was so excited to wear them when I got them. Yeah, I was the only guy with, with, with Jordan cleats on my on my feet. I'm like, oh man, I'm the man. Dude, yeah, no, <laughs> nothing like fresh J's. And speaking of the man, dude, you're the man on the golf course. Uh, no. This ball went straight. I, I I don't know how you feel about your uh, swing and one everybody of the few, watching this. One of the play. few. Um, <laughs> You know what? I'm not a good golfer. I started golfing maybe like four or five years ago. Okay. Uh, I just picked up the stick and just started hitting them as, as I went. Uh, never took any glasses. I'm like a 90 to 100 shooter right now, so it's not that great. You got the righty swing going, but something that I would think that you're good at based off of this lefty throw at the at the bowling alley. Yeah, it's all right, all right, it, it's not something bad. I like to do uh, also with my friends. Uh, you know, basically what we do is like, the weekends we'll, we'll, we'll pick out a day and, and we'll, you know, go have fun and stuff like that. So bowling is one of our favorites. Uh, I have three or four friends that are actually pretty decent bowling and, and I consider myself a decent bowler even though I don't, you know, score anywhere, you know, like the, 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 the pros. But um, it's something I like to do and, and, and I guess, you know, since my strike throwing uh, <laughs> abilities, I probably could bowl a little better too, so. Dude, watch out Mookie Best. Here comes Nestor <laughs> no, Cortez, no, he's, baby. He's really good. <laughs> and riding it oh on the horse. Gosh. Where was this, man? This is in the DR. Okay. Um, I had a friend over there that played with the Yankees in the minors, but he was already retired. And when I was playing with the Estrellas down there uh, during winter ball, he invited me to his house. And he had a few horses down there that, and I told him, hey, I want to, you know, do something cool or whatever. So he's like, I got you, don't worry. I'm going to surprise you. And this is what he came up with. So I was, we were horseback riding. All right, Turtles, you, you, you probably know where this is going right now, but Turtles, dude. <laughs> so at the time of this picture, this guy was 42 years old. 42 he's probably years old. still living and kicking it for now and probably another 50 years because these things live forever. Of but course. Dude, that's a, that's a, you're a big animal guy. Yeah, it was really heavy. Uh, this is actually in one of my cousin's house. He's a big uh, nature guy. Uh, does a lot of flowers, does a lot of uh, birds, uh, sells birds, buy birds, uh, ships birds. So, and he had this turtle in his backyard. So I, I decided to carry it. Take a picture. It was really heavy, by the way. Dude, yeah. How big you think that was, like weight wise? I want to say like 50 or 60 pounds. Wow. Yeah, it was heavy. And you're in the cage. I'm in the cage, and I, I kind of like went in there and, and and held it up. Hopefully it didn't bite me or anything like that. So uh, I was holding it like with fear and he took the picture and I just ran out. Yeah. <laughs>
All right, so of course we talked about the fan of favorite. Course. This is probably one of the biggest ones, and actually probably where you saw the the, the power of social media was when Bronxy came into the picture, man. Around the clubhouse, I was like, hey, should we do something for the team? Like, you know, I didn't want to be the guy to initiate, you know, bringing a mascot into the clubhouse. So, you know, people, guys threw ideas out and were like, hey, why don't we bring a turtle in? Kind of just went to the locals, you know, pet shop and, and bought a turtle, bought a tank, bought rocks, bought, you know, everything that's needed for a turtle. Uh, food, obviously. And brought it into the clubhouse on there. Like, man, you're freaking crazy. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm like, hey, guys wanted this. And so, Kind of at first, everybody was like, ah, I don't know, and this and that. And then I think we got like in a little streak and everybody's like, oh, the turtle's doing its magic, you know? And I, I mean, we just, everybody adopted it, honestly. Everybody in the team was 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 really welcoming. Uh, they, you know, it was, everybody was with open arms. Uh, we would take it to the hotel once we weren't on the field. Okay. Obviously, we'd bring it to the field when we were there. So I heard uh, one of the clubhouse guys uh, took care of it while they wait, reallocated it to a, to a new home. So okay. maybe like a month or two back, they uh, put it in a community center in New York. Oh, yeah. great, yeah, cool. Yeah. So they, Everybody could go visit it. Yeah, Bronx now. yeah so they, they, they made a huge deal about it. I think they welcomed it like with welcome Bronxy and like That's awesome. a nice a nice little home for him. So yeah, we're happy that they, he's still alive and that he's still in New York, you know? Yeah, and yeah, no, like you said, he was, he was great to, to help the team rally. And, uh, and, and I think, what you brought inside the clubhouse and onto the field has been awesome. We see it in the mustache, obviously like the, the, the gear that you rock and everything like that. And we even saw all the t-shirts and everything. So it's, everything was a great combination of yeah, stuff to make yeah. you fan favorite here in New York. Yeah, last year was was, was pretty special. Uh, obviously not only with the success, but you know, how people adopted me in New York and, and you know, people were following my career. So uh, it was cool. It was cool to, you know, be part of something big, obviously New York Yankees. and. And it was it was fun to help out the team, you know, win some games. Awesome. Well, we see all of your social media posts. What would you say is your favorite part about social media? My favorite part, uh, I think that we can stay connected through through our social life, you know, daily. Uh, obviously, you know, we, you know, there's guys that follow LeBron James, you know, uh, you know, different different athletes that are that are super super huge. Uh, and it's fun to stay connected with those guys and see what they're doing and see how they do it and. And obviously, like back going back to the baseball, like you know, videos of MLB, videos of Sports Center, video, videos of ESPN. Like, uh, oh man, what did you know? So and so did in Oakland today, and we can see that. So I think the way that we can see things and not only wait to get to our, our room and mm -hmm. see on and watch on TV, you know, uh, social media does a good job of doing that. And, and obviously, you know, there's people using it for advertisement and stuff like that, and and promos and. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, it's grown a lot in the last few years and, and I think it's going in the right way. Big time. Now for everybody at home, I know they got a lot of great proof of why they should follow you just off of this conversation, but why should somebody follow you? Um, I, think, uh, I think I keep good, good, good content on my uh, Instagram. He does, he does. <laughs> um, I like to keep, something that I, I, I kind of did over the years was like, you know, I'm 5'10", I throw 90 miles, uh, 90 miles per hour. Um, you know, there's a lot of kids back home that can relate to me, you know? Yep. Um, you know, not only you can throw 100 and, and make it to the big leagues, uh, you know, if you do, more power to you, you know, congratulations. But I feel like, uh, you know, even like there's posts that on, on, my, on, on my Instagram where like I'm throwing a bullpen in between two boats or I'm throwing a bullpen yeah. in, a, in a backyard. Um, you know, you don't really need a nice facility to go out there and, and do your thing. So hopefully I can keep inspiring all those kids, uh, you know, to, to keep pushing forward and no matter what the circumstances are. Uh, there's always a way a, a way out. Dude, you said it best. And now's the time for the plug. Where can everybody at home follow you on social media? Shoot out your handles. It's uh, Nestor Cortez 12. Uh, that's that's my, my Instagram handle. So hopefully you guys can follow me.